I wanted to give a brief overview of the ModeX content management system. Like a lot of others out there, it's based on PHP and MySQL. It's a relatively straightforward install. You drag files into your web server directory using an FTP client. You may need to change some permissions, but basically you end up navigating to the install directory and you go through a on-screen process to install the, the application and you end up getting something like this. This is the manager overview that you see when you log into the Modex application as a manager. What you get in Modex, which I really like, is this document tree down the left-hand side. This makes each document in your website actually live in a specific place. So that's a little bit different than some of the other content management systems out there like WordPress, where you have a category and that document may exact may live in many different places. In other words, you may be able to navigate to that document in different ways. Modex actually treats the documents as a file that lives in one place. And you notice you have directories. So you see I have some articles in the directories and I have other directories within those directories. And you'll also notice that you have dark black pages which are published You've got gray pages, which are published, but they are not listed in any menus. And you've got pages that are italicized, meaning that they are unpublished, meaning that they are offline. A couple of the things you want to look at. When you're dealing with this interface, you're going to be dealing primarily with the site tab and the resources tab. Those are the most common. There's a few other things you'll end up doing in tools when you first set it up, basic configuration settings. But the site gives you a couple options, primarily the option to add documents. For example, if I want to create a page, I can click on this icon. And just to show you what that might look like, when you're in here, you're going to have a few uh, common fields. If you notice, there's a title. So I might call this is my title. You can give it a long title. And that's, that might be something that you use in an H1 or H2 tag or maybe the same as the title, depending. You can give it a description, an alias. Uh, this relates directly to the URL of the document if you have the SEO friendly URLs. So instead of using like ID question mark, or sorry, question mark ID equals five or six, you might actually have mywebsite.com slash this alias. And then you can navigate directly to that page depending on how you name the document here. Okay. The other obvious thing is the template. So if you make up your own templates, you can quickly switch each document between any number of templates. It's not like WordPress where the whole site has to use one template. You can create an infinite number of templates and each document in your site can use a different template. And all you have to do to switch it is just change the setting here. The menu title affects how the name of the page appears in menus because you can use a dynamic menu generation script and then you can choose whether or not the document actually shows in the menu. The menu index controls where in the menu that document will show. So you don't want it to be alphabetical per se. You may want certain pages to be higher or lower. And then the main part of the document editor is the document content where you can type your content. And you can uh, choose to use an HTML editor where you type in direct con content. Or you can use, if you come down, you'll see that you can switch to the tiny MC editor. And you get a more traditional, no, oh, it's not coming up. There it is. It takes a second. You get the uh, traditional bold italic text controls to edit your document. So depending on which users are in here, they may have different preferences for this. Okay, I'm gonna also show you the resources tab. If I click on that, you've got a couple of options here. The one you're probably using the most is the manage resources. Templates is the first tab here and you notice you can create your own or there are some that come with your installation depending on what you install. Modex is one of the easiest content management systems to use when it comes to grabbing an existing template. So if you've got somebody who has good HTML and CSS chops and they've got an existing template, it's very easy to take that code, that HTML code, and get it 
into Modex. You see here I've comp I've pasted in a fairly complex template using the Yahoo user interface library and lots of good stuff going on in there with JavaScript and CSS. A couple key things are I learned a couple of the Modex placeholders. So there's one for the site name, looks like that, and one for the page title. So in my document head, instead of having uh, one fixed page title, it's going to recreate that depending on which page loads using this template. Okay, there I've got the description. Okay, and lower down, I'm going to have the content. I've got the long title there as my H1 tag, right? So this all gets replaced. All these are placeholders in the template. So as you use this template with a certain file that you've created over here in the document tree, you may replace all those values with whatever you've entered in here. So for example, if my title is China, the China or the title placeholder gets replaced with China. The long title placeholder gets replaced with this text. The description gets replaced with this text. The content gets replaced with this and so on. So it's truly a template driven CMS, which is very nice to use. And again, it's very easy to port over existing CSS, HTML layouts into Modex. So if you've got a website that already exists and that you would like to add CMS functionality to it, Modex is a great way to go. One other feature of Modex that I like a lot is the ability to export static HTML. If you've got a site that you are worried about the security of, you can use the Modex built-in tool to export static HTML so you can take the resulting HTML and upload that to a web server and not have anything exposed. On the web server, you can simply have the static HTML files. You don't have to be running a database or you don't have to be running PHP. This is a nice security feature if you need the benefits of a content management system to build a site, but you don't want to incur any security risks. Another feature that some people might use a lot of are the reporting functions of Modex. It gives some basic uh, information about who had logged in and changed any given files. So if you're using this on a project with a lot of people involved, this is a good way to keep track of things. You can also use system events. It logs different system events if the site's down or a certain uh, script may be causing errors, that type of thing. Okay, just to give you an example. Oop, here's a database error that cropped up with something that I was writing. Okay, that's helpful. I can know, oh, this didn't work, right? You can also track manager actions. And again, depending on what you're using the application for, this may or may not be useful to you. But it is a nice feature of the system. Okay, that concludes my introduction.